story time. Let me take you about 15 years ago. I was about 15, 16, 14. I had, I think, maybe five years of capoeira training. And I went to help another group with their show. Actually, at that show, someone of the other group tried to sweep me over. And in this kind of shows, we mostly cooperate. It's less about challenging each other. When he tried to sweep me, I countered attacked with a scissor swipe that got him straightly on his back and he gasped for air. After the show, we had a circle where we played. Together with me came, I think, two of my friends from my group and we had a little bit of rivalry, rivalry, rivalry in between the groups. And in the Hoda, I got to play with another capoeirista, older than me, he was about I think 10 years older than me. I got on his nerves using some flying kicks. Eventually, he kicked a soccer kick into my face. That wasn't what broke my nose. I'm just giving you some context. A year ago, I met him again in the capoeira circle. This time, I was more in my prime and it was in my home field. I had the advantage at that game. I got to take him down. It had a little bit of a sweet taste. Later on I made a video about all of this history we had. You can check it out in my channel. Um, let me see how it's called. I called it He Kicked My Face Capoeira Payback. Several days after this video I got a phone call from one of his students and he asked me to take this video off. He said it's not cool and we shouldn't put each other down. I've put so many hours into this video creating it and I really like the fact that I managed to insert a storyline with drama and conflict and a win at the end. So I didn't want to take it off. Also, I asked the capoeirista that appeared in the video if he agrees and if he minds that I keep this video on and he said it's okay, it's fine by him. He said he would talk with his students. Later on in that year he had an event where he gave his students high-ranking belt. I went together with my master. Actually there were two capoeira gatherings at the same day. I was a little bit afraid of going to that specific gathering because I was afraid that someone is going to hit me but I chose to go to that event because I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. By the way when I got there several people of their group told me that they really like my YouTube videos. So if you're watching this video thank you for coming to me and saying that. That means a lot to me. And when I played the opening circles I played one of the highest ranks most talented capoeira player that got his belt on that day. I thought he was, in my opinion, he's pretty edgy. He likes to play on the edge. I understand it gives you some kind of an adrenaline rush. I enjoyed the challenge that he gave me. At one point, as much as I can recall, both of us kicked the same kick called Martello at the same time. He was a little bit faster than me and he caught me right over here with the tip of his toe. Immediately my nose started bleeding all over my white shirt and my white pants. I actually kept them for a while thinking I will make this video but eventually got thrown away by my wife. After getting hit I stayed at the event for about maybe 30 or 40 minutes and some other teacher from my group hit another person that got his belt from their group using parafuse. He hit him in his face and he lost his conscience and fell down on his face. It was a crazy day. I guess sometimes in those kind of events there's a lot of pressure and a lot of accidents that happen. Luckily my master had some experience with broken nose and he used two of his fingers to put my nose back in place. To tell you the truth I was scared. I thought it would hurt a lot but it didn't hurt at all. The capoeirista that broke my nose said he's sorry about a million times and it wasn't on purpose and he wasn't trying to get back at me for posting the video I was telling you about before and I believe him. I guess if he would have wanted to break my nose 
it could have hit me much harder and caused much more damage. When the event was almost finished, Mr. Nimi, my friend, took me to take a rentgen shot, an x-ray shot of my nose and then we went for some ice cream. I'm a fool for it. That's the only time I can recall getting injured while playing capoeira in 20 years. Other than that, I broke my ankle once doing a crazy acrobatic. I went for double full, twisting two times in the air, landing and then continue to another backflip. When I landed that backflip, I landed on some kind of a foam box. So I landed with my foot, half of my foot on the ground and the other half on the box. Only several years later, I found out that it was broken because I went to check another injury I had and the doctor told me I broke my ankle in the past. For a few weeks later, I was afraid of even stepping on my left foot. I never got a cast. Tell me in the comments about any experience you got with injuries and capoeira, martial arts or other sports. I got to see many times people being too provocative with another player that has more experience and is much more dangerous than them. So all I'm trying to say to myself and to you is stay humble. That will go a long way. Ashe.